Hello, in this video I'll be talking about the NST which is the non-stress test and the biophysical profile and I'll be sharing mnemonics on how to remember them. So let's get started. The NST is a measure of the heart rate of the fetus in response to its own movements. It's very easy to perform using a Doppler and now there are many variations of the NST but the definition that I'm using is currently recommended by the ACOG and the AAP. So um, for a reactive NST, you require two or more accelerations of the fetal heart rate occurring within 20 minutes of beginning the test. So two is your magic number. Remember two accelerations within 20 minutes. The fetal heart rate acceleration should peak at 15 beats per minute or more above baseline and it should last for 15 seconds or more. So if this is the fetal heart rate baseline, the heart rate acceleration should be more than 15 beats per minute and should last for more than 15 seconds. Now this is a very poor drawing of the fetal heart rate tracing, but I hope you're getting what I'm trying to say. So you should remember that the NST is a measure of fetal well-being and it may or may not be normal all the time. In fact, if the baby is sleeping inside the womb, um, you will not get the accelerations in 20 minutes. So accelerations with or without fetal movements are accepted and 40 minute or longer tracings are accepted to account for the fetal sleep cycles. So um, it is recommended that um, longer tracings should be performed before concluding that there was insufficient fetal reactivity. Another way of doing this is vibroacoustic stimulation in which vibratory sound stimulus is used to induce fetal heart rate accelerations. So it's basically just screaming in the baby's ears so that the baby wakes up and you get your heart rate accelerations. I'm just kidding. So this is all about the NST. And now let's move to the biophysical profile. So the biophysical profile is also one of those tests which is very easy to perform. It just requires a sonography machine and a Doppler ultrasound to record the fetal heart rate. Um, typically, these tests require 30 to 60 minutes of the examiner time. There are five biophysical components that are scored. Normal variables were assigned a score of 2 each and abnormal variables a score of 0. That's the highest possible score for normal fetus is 10. So um, the biophysical components that are scored can be remembered by the mnemonic BATMAN. B is for fetal breathing, A is for amniotic fluid volume, T is for fetal tone, M is for fetal movements, and N is for the NST which we talked about. So let me just tell you what the components and scores are. For fetal breathing, a score of 2 is assigned if there is greater than 1 episode of rhythmic breathing lasting for greater than 30 seconds within 30 minutes. A score of 0 is assigned if there is less than 30 seconds of breathing within 30 minutes. A is for amniotic fluid volume. A pocket of amniotic fluid that measures at least 2 cm in two planes perpendicular to each other, which is a 2 into 2 cm pocket. That will get you a score of 2 and a score of 0 is assigned if the largest single vertical pocket is less than 2 cm. Fetal tone is another component that is measured. A score of 2 is assigned if there is greater than 1 episode of extremity extension and subsequent return to flexion. A score of 0 is assigned if there are no extension flexion events. M is for fetal movement. A score of 2 is assigned if there are greater than 3 discrete body or limb movements within 30 minutes. A score of 0 is assigned if there is less than 3 discrete body movements. 
And as for the NST that we talked about, it's a great way to revise the NST. A score of 2 is assigned if there are greater than 2 accelerations of fetal heart rate of greater than 15 beats per minute lasting for greater than 15 seconds within the 20 to 40 minute period. A score of 0 is assigned if there is 0 or 1 acceleration within 20 to 40 minutes. So this is a mnemonic that I came up with while making this video. And it's um, just imagine a baby which is sleeping and it just woke up from its sleep and it's yawning. And when it yawns, it opens its mouth. And when it opens its mouth, it takes in a deep breath and that is the one episode of rhythmic breathing lasting for 30 seconds within 30 minutes that we talked about the b the fetal breathing in the batman mnemonic and when it's stretching its arms out and stretching its legs and covering its mouth the baby is uh, making three or more discrete body or limb movements within 30 minutes so that was the movement that we talked about which was the m of the batman and um, so when I drew this baby, I specifically moved three of its limbs. One is the arm out, one is the arm covering the mouth, and one is just like stretching the leg. And the baby is moving in the amniotic fluid, so that should make you, you know, remember that the baby's space is the amniotic fluid and it should be greater than two centimeters in two planes perpendicular to each other. And the baby stretches, it extends, and then it comes back to its normal position, which is the flexion. So this is the extension flexion movement that we talked about. It should be one episode of extremity extension and subsequent return to flexion. And, um, and then I'm going to draw out a little heart in the baby's chest for the NST. So yawning baby is a good way to remember the components of the biophysical profile. So that is all for this video. There are additional things that you need to know about the biophysical profile score and the NST such as interpretation of the score, indications for intervention etc. Those are beyond the scope of this video but I will be posting links from the blog where I've written like many notes about the interpretation of the score and the indications for intervention. I'll also be uploading the images and the notes from this video on the website really soon. So check out the link in the description for that and stay awesome.